okay. This will be an interesting one. We can make this one look good. Right. Going here. Going at 400% for this one. Oh, this user interface really pisses me. Silly. Okay, what is it we got here? It is it is a key ring and a bottle opener. But I don't I'm not a beer drinker. I don't drink beer or alcohol, but I thought this would make a good piece to demo with, so I purchased it. But I'm not interested in alcohol, I'm not interested in beer, I'm not that kind of person. I'm not the kind of person that just likes that shit. There's nothing wrong with alcohol per se, but people often abuse it. They often love to get drunk, and it's not good getting drunk. It's, it, 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 at, at the very least, it's antisocial, although I, you, you can disagree with me if you like, because a lot of people seem to think it is sociable to get drunk. And also, it's just not good for your health. You know, you could end up with psoriasis of the liver and uh, you don't want to end up having a liver, liver transplant, especially at an early age. So, you know, you, you could end up becoming an alcoholic because apparently a lot of social drinkers move on to become alcoholics. And that's not good. I've seen, I've seen firsthand what alcohol does to a relative of mine, a close relative. And it, I know, I know when she's drunk, she's antisocial. She doesn't talk properly. She talks a load of negativity and and rubbish. And to me, that just doesn't go down very well. So that's why I consider alcohol getting drunk uh, antisocial because I've had the experience with a close friend, or not a friend, an actual uh, member of my uh, a relative. I won't say what relative but I've had a relative a, a very close relative who always got drunk most of the time and it used to cause fights and and stuff and she she'd often can't be careless and boil boil the eggs dry on the on the cooktop and the cooktop would end up cracked she broke about three cooktops because she left the eggs to boil over to boil dry so she, I've, it can cause damage to property and, and you can and cause potentially cause a fire so there, there's some other uh, consequences of getting drunk you just can't you, you just fall asleep and then of course the eggs get boiled dry and the fucking cooktop gets damaged and you're fucking very fortunate that the insurance company paid up otherwise you know so there's a lot of problems with getting drunk and, of course, as I said, psoriasis of the liver, uh, brain damage, you name it. It's not worth it, folks. It's not worth it. And you do stupid things sometimes that could get you into trouble with the police. And mark my words, you do not want to get in trouble with the fucking police because they are a law unto themselves. It, and they, <laughs> you can even get into trouble for, for just looking suspicious. But when you get drunk, they, they'll pick on you. You'll get into trouble. So it's, if you do something stupid and the police get run. So it's not worth getting drunk, folks. But it's okay. Just let me tell you one thing. It's okay to drink in moderation. Just enjoy the taste. Enjoy the aroma because there is nothing wrong with a, with a bit, with the occasional drink. For me and my future husband, Luigi, we're teetotalers. We're off alcohol for good. But that's because we've got lots of work to do. But it's okay to drink, right? But not get drunk. Just thought I'd let, leave you with that. Gotta go.